Lake Wendery in the heart of Victoria's rural capital Ballarat is a mecca for trout anglers. AFN fishing show fly fisher editor Trevor Hawkins lives right on the shore of the lake and has been busting to get Nigel Webster out on the water and show him just what the lake has to offer. Today we've got a very special challenge on the cards. <laughs> I've travelled all the way from Queensland to this glorious weather, not far from Melbourne, it's an urban lake. I'm fishing with a really good mate of mine, Trevor Hawkins, otherwise known as T-Hawk, <laughs> a specialist fly angler. And I'm here with this dirty gear, otherwise known as lure fishing gear. There's a debate that goes around as to what technique works best. And we're here to have a little put bit it, of a test of our own, mate. Put it, put it to the test, mate. The challenge is on. We've got four hours, a lake stocked with trout. It's your backyard, yes. so. The advantage is mine, so mate. We're gonna go fly fisherman versus lure angler. Cool. And mate, cool. you can have whichever side of the boat you want because I reckon in 30 knots you've got a, a handicap already if you didn't have one mate, to start with. As long as I've got that line over my right hand shoulder, mate, I'm fine. We're good. All right, so we've both got different approaches. It's going to be interesting. Winner takes all. Yeah. Loser has to wear this all the way home. <laughs> Fair enough, you're on. All right, mate, you pick your spot and let's make a cast. All right. Early on in the piece, in any fishing session, you've got to work out what you think is going to be the best way to get a bite and go about catching a fish. And days like this, Trevor's main disadvantage is going to be casting distance because he's got a bucket load of wind and a really fat fishing line, which I don't have the disadvantage of. So what I'm going to try and do, my main thing going for me, I can cast a lot further. And so trying to keep as much distance between the boat, myself and fish, is going to be the key to, to getting bites. And from then, it's all about choosing the best lure and we've got a shallow lake, it's really weedy, so I've gone with a, a small and shallow diving hard body lure and the best spin gear I can to cast a long way, so really fine diameter braided line, light spin outfit, long cast and a little twitch retrieve, So what I reckon is going to be the best order of the day, so that's what I'll start with and we'll go from there. Very handy drifts, cruising down likely looking parts of the lake, and I'm casting 45 degrees straight up and letting the wind take that lure as far as possible. And then judging on the depth of the water, gauge is how high I'm gonna keep the rod tip. If it's deeper, I can drop my rod tip low and let that lure dive a little bit deeper, but if it gets shallow, raising it slightly, and then it's a twitch and pause retrieve. Just trying to instigate that little bit of interest from trout. Just twitch, twitch, pause. Just keeping that line tight throughout though, in case you do get that sudden bite. When it comes to competing against Trevor, you can't miss those bites. <laughs> I'm glad there's no rocks on board, he'd be throwing them at me soon. Oh, oh yes! Nice little one mate, nice one. Nice brownie. <laughs> Look at the condition of him too. And he has smashed that lure. I was just twitching across the top of the weeds. Okay. I was uh, trying to find my bearings because a thick little Ballarat soup fog has come and engulfed the situation. And, <laughs> and we fished a fair way and we've come back near the boat ramp and bingo. There you go, getting close to shore, and it probably makes some sense because yeah. there's a lot of wind blowing into this corner. Yeah. I'll get him in a net. Oh. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. One of your uh, trained locals <laughs> is part of some good stocking programs, yeah. Trevor. Part of Victorian Fisheries and your local Ballarat that's guys it. are putting fish in here for our entertainment. That's it. And they're obviously, obviously thriving because that's some great nick. Look at the markings on it. I reckon we'll let him swim away and you can come play with him on another afternoon. Sounds good, mate. Sounds good. Coming up after the break, the oh, competition yes. gets fierce as the weather gets worse and oh, yes. someone ends up stuck in the bright pink wig. Gone to a very pale shade of sunglass. It's a yellow lens by Spotters and it's designed for this really low light, dark conditions and it's what it's doing is it's adding a little bit of light to the water and it's letting me see some little colour changes and in big shallow impoundments like this one, it's all about finding those little bits of structure where you think the fish are likely to be able to stage and grab a feed as it comes past and then focus your efforts there. I think we're almost going to have to mark them on the GPS, Trevor, because I've got no landmarks that I can find if we do see a fish or two. <laughs> Oh yes! <laughs> nuts, Trev! Yeah. Oh, look at him go! Into it, mate. He's playing the game nicely. 
Mate, we were talking before, a windblown bay. It's got signs all over it saying it's got to be a fish in here somewhere. Great, Nick, your yeah, local fish trev. That's it, mate. If you wanted to come and fish an urban lake like this, you know, what, what are these guys feeding on to? Mud eyes, mayfly nymphs, damper fly nymphs, galaxias. Amazing amount of food in there. All right, mate, well, I'm going to put him back. I reckon this little bay here's holds some okay. potential. You get that fly in the gear. Cool. You show me how it's Try done. And do it, mate. Off he goes. Lake Wendaree, it's, it's very shallow, it's just a depression lake. So you've got to be always conscious of how deep you're actually fishing the fly. We're running a pretty big boat here on Wendaree. The drogue we're using is probably a little bit small for the size of the boat. However, it's, it's working reasonably well and it's slowing us down so that it allows us to drift at a, at a, a rate that you can fish comfortably. Without that drogue, we'd be not too bad with lure fishing, but fly fishing, I'd be just, I'd be continually stripping like this just to keep in contact with the fly. Makes it almost impossible. So you need to slow that drift down, go with the wind, keep in contact with the line. Oh yes. Not gonna break any record with nice him, but he's mate. a fish, mate. It's all right. Nice fly choice, Where's mate. A brighter that? fly choice, little fella. Yep. It's not pretty fish, isn't he's he? He's taking that orange woolly. You are talking to me before about the bright orange flies. Trim, trimmed mm. fins. Yeah, he's a... Filling sure. new introductions to the lake. Yeah, I don't think like. they've been in that long. I know they put some in not that long ago. Good little fish, mate. We're going to let him... Yeah, back to get then he's going to grow a bit bigger for my next trip, mate. Well, mate, about time you came to the party. <laughs> All right, let's let that one go. I reckon you can do better than that, Trevor. Should have trained your locals better. <laughs> They're not, um, they're not hitting it super hard though, they're just, they're hitting it but not enough to get that hook into them without giving it a yeah. bit of a rip. Yep. Oh, that's a good fish. That's oh, good that's one. better. Oh, nice one. Right oh, on. mate, that's a nice That's a big fish, Trev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a solid fish. That's waking us up. Yeah. And he has climbed on board. Oh, he's, he's still a got, nice fish, Yeah, mate. he's a solid he fish, Trev. Nice fish. Oh, look at this for a fish, Trev. Look at this for a fish. Oh, Ooh, nice fish, he's dark. Get him in the net, mate. He's... That's, a... That's a nice fish. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. Look at that bronze colour. And there you go, for people that don't believe your little urban lakes can hold some very neat surprises. That is very, very special fish, mate. As soon as he hit it, I knew he was a solid one. Came up and thrashed and around like those he, brownies. He hit it on the surface, near the surface again too. He yeah, those little, it. little twitches and once again shallow yeah. waters. You don't have to fish deep for big fish. You just got to put that right presentation to suit the conditions. We've had quite a few seasons in a day. Trev for just an afternoon. Few, just a few. Sun's coming out now. What a great way to end. An awesome little session. Two different approaches. Fishing with a great mate. The banter that goes with it. And mate, that is Ballarat it's Gold. Pure Ballarat Gold. A true gold, surprise mate. in the middle of the city. Yep. I'm going to let him go so you can go and catch him again cool, another mate. day. Cool. I'm ready to go, mate. Off you go, fella. Well done, mate. Well done. Mate, <laughs> there ends a great session. We're not far from Lu the boat ramp, which is a good thing for you. Lures, lures round one. Do I have to? Do I have to? Well, you have to because that was part of the deal. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I'm going to let you, let you redeem yourself because I reckon you and I, we're going to head to a trout river before yeah. long. There you go, buddy. You're going to have another crack at the title. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thanks for a great day. <laughs> Round one may be yours. Well, Round so one may be yours. Exactly. It's just a battle. <laughs> all about the war. <laughs> Waving. Yeah, you got to wave. You've got to wave to the crowd. <laughs> To keep up to date with everything the Fishing Show crew is up to, including our latest competitions and prize giveaways, head over to our Facebook page, AFN The Fishing Show. And if you're keen for content, AFN TV is now free to join with over a thousand videos at your fingertips, plus tip and tactics from Bill and myself.